Hey, what's up, my people? How you doing? My name is Dalton. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Dalton My World. And today we're going to talk about two main things. This video is going to be about how to get a free government phone, as well as it's going to be a review of Assurance Wireless Lifeline. Okay, so this is going to be a, re a review of the company Assurance Wireless. And I have used them before. Okay, now in order to get who qualifies for a government phone, well, there's a lot of ways that you can get a government phone, even if you don't have government assistance. If your income is low enough, you can get a government phone. Okay, uh, it doesn't have, you don't always have to have SNAP. Okay, and some of them, some people, some of these companies like assurance wireless I, I don't know if they still have it going on i think it stopped at the end of um, last month but you could just show them a, a letter of your uh, unemployment benefits and you would have qualified so i think you know they they may have they may have extended that okay so as an example you know just because you you don't need to have snap be able to get a government phone okay now here, I'm going to go down this list real quick, okay? Uh, now, you probably already qualify if you're in one of these particular programs. SNAP, EBT, food stamps, uh, SSI, Federal Public Housing and Assistance, Tribal Pacific Programs. Exam example is uh, Bureau of uh, Indian Affairs General Assistance. Uh, I think it's TANF, it's T-T-A-N-F, also for Indian Reservations, F-D-P-I-R, okay, also vet, uh, Veterans Pension and Survivors Benefit Groups. Now, all, all, also, don't, let's not rule out, um, if you're homeless, uh, if you if you live in a homeless shelter, if you're in a nursing home, or even if you just have a temporary address, you can qualify. You can still get the phone. Okay. Now, give you a little bit about. It takes about when I did it. I used Assurance Wireless uh, about nine months ago when I did it. It took about 10 minutes to fill out the application and then they just do this quick verification about, you know, quick verification. And then once that's done, they'll notify you and let you know when to expect your phone. And they also give you updates about the process. Now, the uh, phone number for Assurance Wireless is 888- Three two one five eight eight zero. I'm gonna repeat that. That's eight 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 three two one five eight eight zero. And you want to make sure you call Assurance Wireless to get some details about certain things, like if you think that you want to bring a phone over to Assurance Wireless, or if you want to upgrade, you might want to just call them directly and get that information. Okay. Now. They offer you, you also get a voicemail, you get a phone number, you could bring your number over or you can get a brand new one from them. You get unlimited text. Now, on uh, when it comes to data and minutes, it's a little bit different. When it comes to data and minutes, you get a certain amount and then it's kind of capped, it's capped. Okay, it's not unlimited. Okay, now, also now, you can get a. They'll give you a phone. Okay, now you most of these companies that offer government assistance for phones, like QLink, you can bring the phone over. Okay where they'll just send you a uh, SIM card, all right? Now, 
when I so and you just I'll put a link in the description box below for their website so you can go to their website it takes about 10 minutes it took me about 10 minutes to fill out the application and it doesn't take that long to get verified and then BAM okay now on with the show I'm gonna give you my review of uh, Assurance Wireless when I was with them. Now, Assurance Wireless, when I was with them, the way they hooked me is they were giving away some like 10 to between 10 and 20 gigs of free data of data a month, and I was like, wow. You know, that was the highest amount given away. Now, I tell you, if something seems too good to be true, it probably is. Okay. Because the fact is that when I got the phone, the phone was a no a, a un, unknown un, a unknown brand name. I mean, I had never, it was, I literally had to search on Google for about 30 minutes before I could find that name. You know, it was, <laughs> it, 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 the phone was so cheap that I, you know, it was free. So I didn't, I didn't look crazy on it. You know, I didn't, I didn't get upset about it, but when I got the phone, it seemed, you know, we set, I set it up, we did the full setup. I, I called them and the phone, everything else became automatic. And now, the phone crashed on me so much. I mean, it didn't matter what I was doing or how gentle I was with it. I could just be texting something and it'll just crash. And I remember the last draw I had with this phone and this company, I was actually trying to help my mom out. I had an emergency situation and I was talking to her and the phone literally crashed and rebooted itself in the middle of our conversation. And that was it. I had it. It was like the fourth or fifth time it had crashed. I mean, it would crash all the time. But I'm talking about when I say crash, I mean a heavy crash where it reboot, but it would mess up all the time. So I then, uh, I then called them tried to fix the phone. I have called them. I called them a couple times trying to fix it. And this was the last time I, I just said, you know what? And a lot of people don't realize that you can literally uh, close account with a, uh, with a government phone and go to another one. And a lot of people don't know that. So, but what I did, I was still, I said, look, I'm going to close this account. I can't, you know, I can't be in the middle of an emergency, a 911 call stranded somewhere, and then a phone reboots itself, crashes. Really? It's a lifeline. Okay, so then there was a couple of times I had to call, and I swear, I, I think that it was an East Indian lady, and they gave me so much attitude. I thought it was one of my ex-girlfriends, you know, one of those bad breakup relationships. She gave me so much attitude. And then <laughs> the last time I called him that I told him I want to cancel my account. What really made me mad is that she was trying to walk me through. I'm like, look, we, we, I've done this so many times with you all. I just want to cancel the account. So then they went to tell me, they went, she went to tell me, Okay, how about we just send you, I'm not going to say the name, but it was a name brand phone. Now, I understand you're not going to get an iPhone 12, okay, but even, but there are so many entry-level smartphones, name brand, that are decent quality, okay, that they could send out. So then she tells me, how about... We send you this phone. We understand that some of our phones have issues. How about we send you this phone? It was a name brand phone. And it was a pretty decent entry level phone. And I almost said yes, but then I, I said no, no. Because the way I see it, 
if you do it right the first time, you know, you don't have to keep doing it over again. Okay. If they would have sent me out the right phone, quality product, the first time, it wouldn't be no crashes. It would, you know, I wouldn't have to spend all that time trying to call support, get help. It was a mess. And then also, I, I feel like they would nickel and dime in me every time. And they really cater towards the black community. I mean, I'm serious. All the advertisement, I mean, you know, you see, sometimes you see other people, other races on the advertisement, but they really cater towards the black community. They go after the black community like a hawk. Okay. And let me give you an example. Like when you run out of, when you run out of voice minutes, okay, it's $5 for 250 additional voice minutes, five bucks. Then if you don't want to pay $5, then you pay 10 cents for each additional voice minute. <laughs> 10 cents for each additional voice minute. That means to make a phone call. Now, their data, if you run out of data, you know, which lets you surf the web, it's $1 for 100 megabytes. Now, that's when I say nickel and dime in you, let me give you an example. Q-Link, Q-Link Wireless, for $1, you get 200 megabytes, okay? You can do something with 200 megabytes. 100 megabytes, you'll run out of that before you know it. 200 megabytes, you can do something with that. You can actually surf the web, send some, t uh, you know, you get unlimited text with uh, assurance as well as with Q-Link, but at least with 200 megabytes for only $1 at Q-Link compared to 100 megabytes for $1, you do the math, okay? I mean, it's, you know, they nickel and dime you like you would not believe. And it's like, in order to get a reason, I mean, you'll be paying 15 bucks in no time. <laughs> when you, when it should all be free, uh, you'll be end up paying $15 just to get quality service. And then it will, you know, your phone probably, I mean, hopefully they fixed it by now. But this was about nine months ago. But I mean, it was horrible. Uh, you know, I mean, the last person I talked to, she was decent. She was really good. But I just, I just, I had it with the company. Okay. But the other, some of the other support they had, oh, ghetto, man. I mean, just, I mean, just gave me attitude. You know, from the giggle, just gave me attitude. You know, I was like. East Indian ghetto. I, I, I <laughs> it was it was it was not a good experience with the assurance wireless, as you can see. Well, I just wanted to show you how to. You know, it's up to you if you want to try them out. And I wanted to show you how to get a free phone. Okay, but I would suggest if you have a phone, trying to see if you can just. Uh, get you know get a sim card sent to you if your phone is compatible okay you know bring your own phone be better trust me because if they still send out those cheap unusable smartphones that they used to send they were sent they sent me nine months ago I'm just trying to stop you from having to go through all that okay so that is that is uh, my review of Assurance Wireless. Also, I showed you how you can get a free smartphone from them. All right. Now, if you have a better experience with them, please comment in the comment below. I would love to hear it. All right. And again, I would like you to subscribe. Share this. All right. Give me a thumbs up. If this video helped you, someone you know, all right.
And of course, as I stated, please comment below if you had a good experience or bad experience with the Assurance Wireless. It helps uh, other people understand if they want to go with them or not. Okay? Uh, just because my experience was bad doesn't mean everybody's experience is going to be bad. All right. And I should wrap to you later. Peace out.